Shalom, uh, Liz McGee with another. This is this is actually one of the, my inconvenient truths. Okay, but also this is a Torah secret. I have been very blessed in the later years of my life here to be married to a wonderful man who loves to travel. And I have traveled in the last two years across this country four times. Actually, I think it's five. Uh, so it, it's a pretty amazing uh, experience. And I have come to some conclusions because one of the things that is really uh, well from California. So I'm going mostly from North Carolina to California, but I have done it now. We've done the Northern route, which is I believe 80. We've done 40. We've done 20 and 10 across and we've done 70. So I'm familiar with all these. And I'm telling you, this is a great nation. This is a great nation. We are so blessed. We have such abundance here. But what we do have, <laughs> so going through Utah this summer, I kept being struck by these features all over the place. Not one or two, but this is a Utah, I'm just telling you. Now, one, so I'm reading, I'm looking at all this and I'm telling my, there is something going on here. These are buildings. These are structures. There is something here. This fits in with what we know from the ancient cultures and everything. I said, this, there's an ancient civilization here. I don't care. This is not natural. Nature doesn't do this. So anyways, and I read my, my esoteric texts. Okay. I'm very much into Jewish mysticism, reading Orthodox Jewish texts and lo and behold right then and there next morning within the next i'm again it's reiterating to me in the zohar the understanding that the earth has many ages it is billions of years old people it is okay i don't know how christian you know fell in this fundamentalist 24 hours six thousand years box it's wrong it's not true there is a place, there is a literal 6,000 years, but it's not the total picture. So don't try to deny it because it's like, this is what I mean. But you deny, don't tell me I have to deny what my reality is seeing. Okay. Now, the thing is, it does talk about, especially this is pre-flood to me. And there were many ages. There have been, and there will come cumulatively, as far as I understand, six ages. And they are a long time. This could easily be Atlantis. All right. That was judged. These civilizations really did literally slide into oblivion. Things. But OK, so I want to show you that now. See, these, this is all over the tops of these mounds. They're not even mountains. They are mounds and they're flat top. And then there's all these structures. I mean, I have 50 pictures and I just pick some of my my faves here. But now look at this. If I did not tell you what this was and I shouldn't even hear look at this one here this is Masada if you're familiar with the concept of Masada where they did build a huge fortification and just before um the Romans really sacked and took over um Jerusalem uh, there was a last holdout at this place called Masada at the top of a mountain and this is a picture of it now there's no difference between this I mean seriously so don't, you know, I'm just saying, don't check your veins. How can you tell me that there's, I got this new thing where there's smoke, there's fire. These are structures. Now, my point is, this is not a salvation issue. You know, these things, but we need to understand because the elites have known this. They've been trying to hide this thing because they want to prepackage a narrative to us, keep us in a certain box where we understand, but it's time to break out. It's time to understand. Yes, the world, and it's all in our Bible, people. It is all in your Torah. You don't have to freak out or be afraid. Yes, Yah's in control, but we need to be able, this is the thing today. I'm tired of people telling me that what I see and hear and perceive and understand is not true. No. God gave me five senses to understand reality. And, and I think it's pretty clear. So seriously, uh, like this video, share it, and make some comments. Make some comments. Anyways, I will see you in the next video. Shalom, shalom.